was another busy morning here on the farm. Some days things start off rough and tough and sometimes some days start off kind of smooth and then out of the blue things happen. Crazy stuff happens. I think you have a dead chicken over here. Yeah. It's not stiff yet. See, it's still saw. Usually after a certain time when they die, they start to get stiff, but this one's saw. So, it must have just happened just a few minutes ago. Uh, I don't see any signs of something getting it. If it, whether it had a heart attack, I'm not sure. Or it could have had an egg that got lodged in there. Because the rear looks a little pronounced. So that could have been... So that could have been what happened. So we were just over here. Ben was dumping some of the load of some of the old plants that we were using from the garden. I was just over here. Salem was just over here. And did you all see the chicken dead before? Nope. So it must have just happened. We're going to go ahead and take care of it because we don't want to attract any other predators over here. Or we don't attract any predators at all. We don't want any buzzards coming around or or any other scavengers for that matter so we're going to just going to take care of it in the past i have buried them but i found unless you're using like an excavator or something to dig deep they just get dug right up so we have like a little ravine i shouldn't say little it's kind of a big ravine on the other side of the pond that we just kind of toss it off toss the dead animals off of and let the uh, predators just go ahead and have their meal and uh, that's just part of the cycle of life. So we're gonna get rid of it, get back to work. Whoa, whoa! Ow. But that was just the start of our chicken problems, wasn't it? Yep. Some of the other chickens got bumblefoot. Before we show you any more, we wanna warn you that if you have a queasy stomach like me, you may wanna fast forward it a little bit because it's a little yucky here. Ugh. What do you think? Disgusting. Mm, yeah. What do you have there? So I think she had bumblefoot. That's the top of it that was sticking out of the foot. And then this is the bottom of it that was down in there. So what exactly is bumblefoot? I think it's when they get a cut on their foot and then it just gets infected down in there. It was pretty gross. She had another place on the bottom of her foot too that was gross. So now I'm going to clean it out really good and put a bandage on it. We all wear many hats here on the farm and one of the many hats that Lacey wears is she's the one that is pretty good with just caring for the animals and doing just like the the veterinarian type work. Even though she's not a veterinarian, she's good at making sure that they're taken care of and bandaging, bandaging up wounds and, and just helping things out with different animals. Because injuries, disease, things just like that, they happen on the farm. They happen in life and they happen on the farm too. So what exactly are you doing to treat the bumblefoot? I think more is gonna come out of this. Yeah, there's a whole nother corn. Lovely. So what exactly are you doing right now? Well, from the videos that I've watched, is you soak their foot and you let it loosen up. And then you just almost, I guess, pop it like a pimple, essentially. Um, but I use some tweezers to pull some stuff out too. But um, like now there's a big old, I mean, there's a lot of space in there. She had two different places that I wasn't aware of until I saw she was limping so it's pretty common in um, chicken and well and pretty common in chicken and ducks what do you think about that you said a chicken is mommy helping the chicken what no, okay. is it hurt mm. yeah mm. bye bye you think yeah and these are the things that Lacey took out of the foot of the chicken right there yuck 
Another reason why Lacey is great at doing this is I am, I get kind of queasy when I see blood and from others. It doesn't bother me when I'm bleeding or I'm hurt, but just like when Lacey was pregnant and dealing with pregnancy sickness, I am just sensitive to that and it's, it's hard for me to deal with. Call me a wuss, whatever, but I'm not the best one for the job. She is here. All right, they're gonna use duct tape here just to kind of wrap up the, the bandages that they're putting on. Just like in life, problems happen, injuries happen, things happen. So don't need to get beat up on when you have things that happen on your farm, but just learn and be in a state of learning how to deal with them and being the right state of mind to deal with them. So right now we are dealing with different problems that we've had with our animals. Each year you have some kind of problems, just the way it is, and just learn how to deal with it and keep moving forward. Well, Sayla. We've showed them that we're having some problems with the adult chickens. I guess those are my chickens. But you've been raising chickens of your own, and you like doing that, right? Yeah. What would you like to tell the kids at home about raising animals? It's really fun, and anyone can do it. Yep, yeah, you can. There's a lot you can learn from it, right? Yep. However, some of the chicken problems, our chicken problems, have extended to Sayla, too. She's been doing an excellent job of raising those chickens. She's been raising them like her own babies in a way, <laughs> making sure that she holds them, takes care of them, gives them water and feed on a regular basis, and checks on them, makes sure they're protected in their housing area. But after some time, we have noticed that they haven't grown a lot, especially one of them. And Sayla's been doing a good job feeding them. We've actually been feeding them the grower starter mix that we have given our ducks and our ducklings. And they have been growing up just fine. They have gone from being ducklings to ducks now. But the chickens are slightly behind. Your chickens are slightly behind. Yeah. So come to find out, the chickens that we have gotten that Nene got for you. Yep. Nothing on Nene. But whoever the breeder was for these chickens wasn't a good breeder. Because the rest of the flock that some other people have purchased, those chickens, those chicks haven't grown very well either. So, that's just a, a lesson for you all out there, a lesson for us to make sure you are careful who you get chickens from. Because, or any animal for that matter, because sometimes some people aren't as, let's just say, diligent with breeding and taking care of the animals like they should. And that affects future generations of chicks and ducklings and whatever offspring that may come in the future. And... Sayla just released two of the bigger chicks to go play and, and live with the ducks. But unfortunately, since the one is her growth is stunted really bad, it still has to stay inside. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you're bummed about that. But some of those things happen and we learn, don't we? Yep. And you have a good attitude about it. I know it's yep. tough. But those are part of life lessons. And out of the blue one day, we also had one of our ducklings die. I have no idea what happened to it. think it might have been a snake. I did see a copperhead around the pond. I tried to kill it, but missed it. And we don't have any of that footage, so sorry about that. We don't have footage of the dead duckling, nor my adventure with the copperhead in the canoe. That would have been cool. But It was crazy. Yeah, but it was a failure. I didn't kill it. I yeah. tried. But it is what it is. Well, we haven't had any problems for a number of days now thankfully and hopefully we don't have any more but we understand that that is part of life on the homestead life on the farm well that was a lot of the negative things that have happened we've also had something very encouraging happen for something positive 
You remember, not too long ago, some of our friends, our viewers, they brought us something. What did they bring us? Ducks! Yes, we got some new ducks onto our farm. Some ducks that we haven't raised before. I've always kind of thought they were co cute, cute, and cool. <laughs> and they are Muscovy ducks. And we really enjoy having them on the farm. Not sure how they line up with Khaki Campbell's because Khaki Campbell's are still my favorite. But they're adjusting to being having life here on Big Pine Farm quite My well. My favorite is the Indian runners and the type that sparkles is. Yep, you like those ducks? Yeah, they're yeah. cool. They're pretty cool. It's crazy how we become duck people. We like our chickens, but we really like our ducks too, right? Yes. Sayla likes the duck so much. I caught her here. She was just sitting down, watching the ducks just express their duckness and having a good time. Yep. For a moment there, it almost looked like you thought you were one of them. <laughs> sometimes whenever they go in the pond, sometimes I wish I could just go in the pond with them. You know what? I think that would be cool too. We could just be like ducks in the pond. <laughs> and just splash underwater and come back up. <laughs> it's neat. I remember the first time I saw a duck go under the water. And then it was in there for a few seconds. I'm like, oh no, what happened to it? And yeah. then it popped right back up. Didn't that it? was the same thing for me too. I was like, where did the duck go? And then I saw it pop up. Yeah. And I was like, whew. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is it for this vlog. For those of you who may have missed it, we're doing a giveaway with our friends at Bootstrap Farmer. Yes, you can get some free stuff. So one of the ways that you can give get some free items from Bootstrap Farmer is this week we're giving away seed starter kits from Bootstrap Farmer. So all you have to do is share this video on Facebook or Twitter and make sure you tag us in the post. Or you can also go on Instagram, like one of my posts from at the Fit Farmer and tag three real friends and that will give you an opportunity to be entered into the giveaway. Also, you can meet us in person at the Homesteading Life Conference in Missouri next month, August 12th. Make sure you come see us there. We'll see you next time. Bye! Smile. Say cheese. Say I love mommy. Mama. Say I love daddy. Dada. Say I love Sailor. Say I love Josiah. I love being. Uh oh. Uh oh. Say I love being. Hey. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So, subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here and also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.